Okay, let's remember that these notes should go wherever we put our translation notes, whether that was in a math notebook or in the back of your math workbook. Either way, we wanna make sure that we're taking these notes in the same place that we've taken all of our other notes, okay? So today's notes are about reflections. A reflection places a figure on the opposite side of the line of reflection. So when we think about reflections, we think about flipping an object or we think about the mirror image of an object. So if we were to reflect over the x-axis, remember that this is our x-axis, we might have a triangle, um, let's see, we might have a triangle here that looks like this. And when we flip it over the x-axis, now it looks like that, okay? So a perfect mirror image over the x-axis. If we think about flipping over the y-axis, that's our vertical axis. So if I have a triangle, let's say here, oops, that's a bad triangle, isn't it? And I flip it over the y-axis, now it's going to look like oops, this, right? So it's the perfect mirror image over the y-axis. When we think about rules on the coordinate grid, when we reflect over the x-axis, our ordered pair x, y switches to be x, negative y. So if I had a point here at 3, 1, and I reflect it over the x-axis, my new point is going to be at 3, negative 1, okay? So x, y becomes x, negative y. When we reflect over the y-axis, our ordered pair x, y becomes negative x, y. So if I had a point here at negative 2, negative 2, and I reflect it over the y-axis, my new ordered pair would be at 2, negative 2. So we can see that my x value switched signs. It went from being negative 2 to positive 2. Let's remember that when we have this negative sign um, in our rule, that doesn't mean that the value is negative. It means that the value is opposite what it started out as, okay? All right, so let's look at some examples. Our first example says reflect quadrilateral A, B, C, D over the Y axis. So first we need to plot quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So let's make it look like this. So we'll put A here at negative four, positive three. We'll put B here at negative one, positive three. We'll put C here at negative four, negative three. And we'll put D here at negative one, negative three. When I reflect over the y-axis, remember that's my vertical axis, each one of these points is going to be the same distance away from the y-axis, just on the opposite side. So B is one unit away from the line of reflection. So B prime is also going to be one unit away from the line of reflection, just on the opposite side. So B prime is now at the ordered pair one, three, a started out four units away from the line of reflection. So A prime is going to be four units away from the line of reflection. So A prime is gonna be at four, three, and I should really write B prime in front of this one just so we can keep track. Whoops. So B prime was at one, three, A prime was at four, three, D is one unit away from the line of reflection, so D prime is also gonna be one unit away. So D prime is at one, three, and then C prime is four units away, or C is four units away, so C prime is also gonna be four units away, okay? So now that I have both figures, I see that their size and shape is the same, and they're both the same distance away from the line of reflection. When I think about my rule for reflecting over the y-axis, my rule said that xy becomes negative xy, and we can see that that's exactly what happened. All of my x values ended up switching signs, and my y values stayed the same, okay?
All right, let's look at our last example. Our last example says to reflect triangle X, Y, Z over the X axis. So let's plot X, Y, Z. We're going to put X here. So X is at the ordered pair 1, 2. Y is going to be here at the ordered pair 3, 4. And Z is going to be at the ordered pair, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3. So Z is at the ordered pair 6, 3. Okay, and I want to reflect over the X axis, which again is my horizontal axis. And I want each of these points to be the same distance away from the x-axis, just on the opposite side. So x is one unit away from the line of reflection. x prime is also going to be one unit away from the line of reflection. So x prime is now at one, negative two. y is four units away from the line of reflection. So y prime is going to be four units away. So y prime is at three, negative four. And then Z is three units away, so Z prime is also going to be three units away. Z prime is going to be at six, negative three. When I connect my points, I can see that my shape is the same shape, it's the same size, it's just been flipped over the X axis. Again, when I think about my rule for flipping over the X axis, X, Y becomes X, negative Y, we can see that that's exactly what happened. Our x values stayed the same, but our y values switched signs.